All right, so obviously I'm the last guy between you and barbecue, so I'm not going to keep you too long. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to talk about uh, add-in centralized deployment. Um, over the last couple of days, you've heard a lot about add-ins, accidental messages, stuff like that. That's all great. You've shown some, um, Tom's shown some, some other people have shown some examples of how you sideload those in. And that's really good, but how many IT managers are going to go to every PC on the, you know, like Microsoft and install an add-in? Uh, how many of us are going to let them um, do that? Like, oh, just let me install this file on your machine and play with your Outlook. It's not really a very viable solution. Um, obviously, this is just some marketing slides, but it's why would you want to even build add-ins? You've already seen some of those, and there's what can you build? Um, so this is just sort of the setup, you know, what you can do with the platform that is Office now, um, which I'm going through them real fast. Um, but of course, obviously with them, they're, you can use standard stuff like HTML, um, JSON, um, to, to, to code these things. And they take on the user experience of the app they're running in. So an, an add-in in Outlook will take on the Outlook experience. An add-in in Word will take on the Word experience and the look and feel. And it could be the same add-in. Um, but it'll, uh, it'll actually morph to the appropriate add-in. Um, it'll morph to a phone if that's a, an appropriate add-in. Um, and as a developer, of course, you, you have some control over that um, in terms of the, the layouts that you would morph to it. Um, but it's a very nice, nice, nice native one. It's web. Um, so it's HTML. It's just JSON and JavaScript. So some of the stuff that, you know, that we've used in the past, .NET, Java, all great technology, still applicable in certain scenarios. But this is really nice because it really is just portable. It's the app it itself that it's running in. This is the runtime engine. It's, so it's just dated. It's passed there and then acted upon appropriately. So it's a really nice feature. Um, and again, it, it can run, run anywhere. It can run in any of the Office apps, wherever Office is. And then what I'm going to talk about, which is the centralized deployment. So there's really three deployment options. Um, side loading, which is primarily for testing only, because um, it just doesn't scale to, to do any other way. Um, there's the Office Store. And then there's what we call a centralized deployment, which is the corporate deployment. Um, and then for you as a developer or a corporation, pick what is appropriate. And so first one, you've, heard, you've seen it before, heard, heard about it as side loading. So on a PC, side loading is, you go into the app, you go to the add-ins, um, into the add-in section, either through the store, if you're going to talk into the store, you can then choose to add, do a, a load. It'll pop up a dialog, and you say upload. You select your manifest file, which is just an XML file. You load it, you, click, you say okay, and then it loads right in. So that's side loading from a PC. On a Mac, you put it into the, web, uh, you drag your manifest file into the WEF folder. Um, and this is in the documentation exactly where to find that. Um, put up on dev.office.com. Um, you can also, like, for like iOS, you just use iTunes. You put the manifest in there and it'll push the, through iTunes and your connected device, it'll push it out to the device. So, the store. The store involves, obviously, you have to have a developer license. So you sign up as a, as a dev for uh, Office and say, you know, hey, I want to be able to push this out. Of course, you're, for a store, you're looking to push it out to the community at large. Um, in terms of that, it, you could actually target uh, corporations, but it's not really a, a, a side-loading kind of opportunity. You're pushing out to the world in some, in some means. Um, but so you sign up, and then you go to your land, the landing page. You, put it, you point to your manifest file. You can load, upload your icon uh, to it to, for your app. You point to the service you do. You say submit. If it follows the rules, because they will review it because it is public. Um, it's like submitting an app to the Apple Store, to the Microsoft Store, to the Google Store. There's review. There's guidelines you have to follow, so they'll review it. If you fail, they'll send you an email. They'll indicate what's wrong. You get to fix it, resend it again. Once you pass those, it's up available in the store for people to download. And when because this is for like ISVs, you want to maybe sell it. Um, or you want to target who you, where you want to put it, what markets, um, what languages you support. There's quite, an op, uh, quite a large selection of things you can do. You can give it away for free. You can do trial periods. Um, you can actually do per seat. Or if like you're selling into corporations, you can say, well, 
since you're a corporation, you get a, a different type of licensing agreement? So for the store, so basically the store, this is the store. So this is look, obviously looking at it from the, br the browser, and you can browse through. You just go to store.office.com, browse through all of the add-ins and the web apps that are available to you. Um, within the Office products, this same store is available. It's in a more constrained UI that's appropriate to the app you're in. But this is just the store, and so you can find all of the stuff, including the ones he just loaded. Um, so if you're a dev, you can push your ones up there. I'm not going to actually demo submitting it because it's pretty boring. You fill in a couple of forms, you get an email that says, thank you for submitting it. And then a couple of weeks later, you get success or failure. It's actually pretty quick, but it takes, there's, it wouldn't go fast enough for me to show you it. So the more important one in some ways is like the ISV is important and of course like making money is kind of kind of cool for a lot of us. Um, but what if I'm in a corporation like me in, in Microsoft and I want to share my add-in with a corporation or my IT manager and I want to control who has what add-in because some apply to like the sales division but they don't apply to the marketing division or the, to, the, uh, to the dev division. Um, well, none of the things I've said so far specifically allow that. Um, side loading certainly could, but that's too much work. Um, the store, well, I, you know, I can't control that by telling people in my corporation, well, you don't get to do this, but you do. That's just not effective either. I need rules. And I want to be able to push it out. I want to be able to deploy them to the people so people don't even have to worry about it. And that's where centralized deployment comes in. So I, as an admin, can actually go into my Office 365 admin center uh, assign to security groups and user groups or individual users the add-ins I want them to have. And then the next time they, they start the specific apps that those add-ins are supported by, they have it and it's pushed to them. And so it just works uh, flawlessly in that and I can control how I add in, how I do that. Um, this is just a screenshot of how I do it, but I'll actually show you in just a second. It's from the, your portal center, you go up, you, you select the add-ins you want, and then you can select, you can either say everywhere and then everybody gets it, or you can say, well, just this group. So that, so this is the admin center. This is for my company um, for, for demo purposes. It's just as Tom showed for his. Um, and so it's just the, it's the root thing for Office 365. Um, and so I come in here, and just to kind of show you, so um, my, company, my company has a couple of uh, people in it. Um, Jingwei, who I travel a lot with, Tom, who I travel a lot with. Um, so we're, we're just a small company, but I don't want to have to go to each of their machines and install stuff. So basically, I can come to the settings, and you'll see the services and add-ins. And you'll get a list of feature of the add-in places and services I can control. And right up at the top is upload add-in. And so now I'm adding an, an add-in. And again, just uh, it's nice and easy. It talks to you, it tells you how to, you can run the compatibility checker to make sure the add-ins, if you're going to upload, instead of side loading, now I can still point to that XML, the one that I built. It tells you whether it's compatible to be deployed this way, it meets the right uh, requirements. But in my case, I'm just going to go to the store. So the, the default, but you can see there's the different options. So you go to the store, it takes a second, and then so it comes up. Um, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pick Bing. And specifically, I was like, interested in maps. So, so I'm gonna add in the maps. Map three is that I'm looking at maps is because we do a lot of international travel. And so I, now I can send this to a, a group of people saying, hey, let's find it a hotel that's near the convention. Um, and so it's a nice, simple map to do that. And then, so this one, like I said, you can control. So I can say everybody gets it, a specific user gets it, only myself. And if I don't know the users, right, I can search for a, a group to get. So I don't remember if I did sales or not. Uh, let me go select. So.
I don't remember the group I called. So at the moment, for the moment, I'll do this. Uh, so what happens is obviously it brings the manifest down uh, to to the up to your, your exchange server, the exchange piece of it, because that actually can con connect and with that with the AD and to the user groups, determines the users, and then publishes the manifest file out to all of those people. If they're remote and not connected, the next time they connect um, to to AD, they get it gets pushed down to them. If it's a remote device like this, the next time they start the client, because this is you know this is my private iPhone, I don't actually have AD on this, but I have OWA on it. And so the minute, as soon as I connect OWA, it'll push it down. So it's it can take staged, but any connected device, as soon as it's connected, will get pushed down, and then they'll have that add-in available. And like it says, it can take up to three minutes. So there we go. Now it's been assigned. And then you can see it here. So as an add, as an add-in, as the manager, I can see that uh, Bing Maps is, and I posted it to Excel, um, but and its status is on. So I, as an admin, I can see all of the add-ins that I've uploaded into my my domain uh, for Office 365 and my tenant and my corporation, and I can control whether it's turned on, turned off. I can uninstall it, and so that it'll pull it back from everybody. Um, and it's just the, the JSON object and the XML file. And, and that's pretty much centralized deployment. Like I said, it's pretty simple. There's nothing really, really fancy about it. Um, so any questions about the deployment? OK. Well, well thank you. And thank you for listening to the, the previous talks on doing it. And do try add-ins. They actually are really very nice. <laughs>